What's up guys, welcome to the last episode dedicated to Black Friday. In this one, I will show you Black Friday landing page examples. I'm going to point out all the good practices, but also things that need improvement, in my opinion, of course, so don't get it personal. Feedback sharing is caring. I'm Jay Webski, your digital marketing buddy. Let's get to it. Just to let you know, I'm also on TikTok, so go ahead, check out my profile to get some more entertainment. Now let's get back to the point. I selected a few Black Friday landing pages, reviewing the design, the UX, the messaging and the offer. I will show you pages from Apple, PlayStation, Surfer SEO, Landingy and Heights. Okay, let's take a look at the Apple's landing page. So first of all, I like the dates and the circles that appear and catch my attention after I enter the page, which is quite good because I know what to expect. I mean, when the deal will be happening, the messaging is quite nice, save the date or save all four. I like the call to action, add to calendar, which is uh, not typical, I'd say, but it uses one of the Apple's ecosystem function. If I scroll down, I can see which devices will take part in this Black Friday offer. If I purchase any of the offered devices uh, from Apple, I will get the Apple gift card I can use afterwards. Maybe not the best deal I would expect. Uh, maybe I would get more value if any of the devices were discounted. So uh, that's my personal opinion. The overall design is very well connected to the visual identity of the Apple brand. So yeah, everything's working fine here. If you'd like to get more Black Friday tips about marketing campaigns and landing pages dedicated to Black Friday, you can check out my other episode. It is linked here. I will also add the link in the description of this episode. The next landing page I wanted to show you, Black Friday landing page, of course, is from PlayStation. So we've got a bunch of different offers from them. This is a nice landing page. What I particularly like about this landing page is the design. It's very nice. I like all the, you know, lights and neon lights. Nice looking custom made branding or I'd say logo for Black Friday deal is, is very nice. So uh, I like it. We've got three different categories of the deals offered to us, which are games, PlayStation Plus subscription and accessories so I can navigate through them using this sticked navigation bar. It works quite goofy for me, but it's still quite useful. It's easier for me to navigate through this website. To be honest, I'd love it more if it was a standalone landing page rather than part of the website. So we've got navigation bar here. I can sign in. So all the stuff, this could cause some distraction. So someone could easily get off this page, which is not good. The landing page is quite clear. We've got all the assets available to purchase. We can also purchase the subscription right here on this landing page, which is also good. I don't need to log in somewhere else. Just do it here and now. I've also checked this landing page before the actual offer came live. The coming soon page wasn't that good in my opinion. It just said that the Black Friday will turn in November 2022. Plus we can have a shop now button which led us to PlayStation Store. What I would do and suggest on this page, put a small web form so I could collect visitors' email addresses and notify them when the Black Friday deal launches. Also, the space on the coming soon landing page could be used a little bit better. I mean, all the content could be a little bit more compressed. Plus, I cannot see the call to action right after I enter the page. This is not good and it should be visible in the hero section. So it should be visible above the fold line. If you would like to get back in time on the internet and you would like to know how to do it, go ahead, check my episode about the internet archive called Wayback Machine. Here's the link. I will also add it in the description of this episode. So yeah, go ahead, check this out. Another landing page comes from Surfer SEO. This is a tool to boost your content and your SEO rankings. Let me take a look at the current Black Friday deal landing page. Okay, so here's the page. As you can see, Black Friday Frenzy Gamified, which is a great idea how to engage your audience, build this momentum and get great sales results. So yeah, let's check this out. Save 30%. So this is like regular, I'd say Black Friday offer for a SaaS marketing tool. But what is great about it, it's gamified. So the more people sign up for the deal, the bigger bonuses all of them can get. As you can see, we have a counter. So we can see how many people already took advantage of this deal. Plus we have different levels, five levels to unlock by the community, seeing what kind of 
bonuses and rewards all of them can get just for being part of the deal. This is definitely a, an idea worth to try at your businesses. This could very likely engage a greater amount of people just taking advantage of your Black Friday deal. Great stuff. We can learn a lot from this kind of campaign from Surfer SEO. Go ahead and try this idea in your businesses. The next landing page comes from Landingy. Let's take a look at it. So I can see everything clearly on the hero screen, hero section. So above the fold line, Black Friday 2022, customers actually can decide what they would like to get for this edition of Black Friday. We've got a countdown timer. So we know how much time we have to redeem one of these offers and a call to action button. What I like a lot about this landing page it's a standalone landing page, so there is no navigation bar. The only action I can take on this page is to actually fill out this form and that's it. So there are no distractors here. This should definitely improve the conversion rate on this landing page. I think it's worth to point out also the address of this landing page. It's consistent throughout all the years uh, Landingy was deploying a Black Friday campaign. If someone clicks from some lists of Black Friday deals from 2021, they will still get here and could redeem and take advantage of this offer. The last example I would like to show you comes from Heights. This is how I found this landing page is I just typed in Google best SaaS Black Friday deals and just click on the first organic result. Then I opened standalone landing pages I, or I thought they would be standalone because of the URL address. I was searching for something related to Black Friday. And this was one of, one of my picks. I was surprised that when I clicked on Heights offer, I saw that it's an, actually an error page telling me that the page doesn't exist and I should go to the homepage. Actually, I wanted to show this example because I think it's a waste of traffic. What they could do is set up a redirection from this URL to their actual valid Black Friday offer, which I'll show you in a while, or at least put a web form here on this page telling that the deal is over, but you can sign up for the next year Black Friday deal right away on this page. Let's take a look at their actual Black Friday deal from this year, so 2022. What I like is the timer in the upper right corner of the page telling me how much time I have to redeem the offer. There is this animated heading telling me what can I do with the solution, what can I achieve. What I would improve on this page is put the call to action a little bit higher because as you can see right now, after entering the page, there's only one heading I can read, no call to action. So very likely I could just leave the page here. Call to action actually is a little bit lower on the page. I would put it significantly higher on this page just to improve the conversion rate, get more leads, get more sales from the deal. Another thing worth to mention here is that it's also a standalone landing page. It's not a sub page of a website. So there are no distractors here, which is good and could also improve the conversion rate. This is it for today's episode. I hope you like the content. If so, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. More fun stuff to come every week. Also, if you don't know the story behind Black Friday, you can check this out in my other episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time.